Hello everyone, I am Sarfraz from MobileSMSPK.net and today I am going to unbox Qmobile Noir J5. So let's get started. Qmobile Noir J5 is latest phone from Qmobile which is the younger brother of Qmobile J7. J5 design is very similar as J7 but specifications are lower than J7 which makes J5 a mid-range device. Qmobile J5 is available in Pakistan for Rs 13,990 and here are the specs. Phone has 5-inch HD IPS display with 720p resolution, 1.3 GHz quad-core processor, 16 GB of ROM and 2 GB of RAM, 8 MP back and 5 MP front camera, Android 6.0 Marshmallow OS, 2300 mAh battery and phone supports 4G and OTG. Here is the box. Let me open the box. First content of the box is warranty card. Here is the phone. Let me put it aside for a while and show you other contents of the box. One ampere 5 volt charger. Micro USB cable. Low quality earphones. Twenty three hundred mAh battery. Sticker. User guide Semi transparent silicon case and final content of the box is a screen protector. Let me show you the phone. Some key features are mentioned on the phone. This is how phone looks after applying the case. Let me give you physical overview of the phone. On front there is 5 megapixel camera along with sensor. 5 inch HD IPS screen and navigational buttons below the screen. On top of the phone there is 3.5 mm headphone jack. Volume rockers and power button on the right. Micro USB port and microphone on the bottom. Nothing on left side of the phone. On back there is 8 megapixel camera along with LED flash and speaker grill at the bottom. Just like Qmobile J7, back cover is made of shiny plastic with ripple effects but it is fingerprint magnet. Phone has dedicated dual sim slots and separate micro SD card slot so you can use two sims and micro SD cards simultaneously. Phone supports 4G LTE and up to 128GB micro SD card. So that was the unboxing of Qmobile J5, complete review of J5 will be available soon on this channel so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you like this video please hit the like button, if you have any questions, feedbacks or suggestions do let me know in the comment section below. For more details do visit my website.